Okay, so 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 let's do some sharing. Like, uh, do you want to start or do you not want to start? Someone else want to start? What? Okay. Someone. Yes. Um, so we have, um, in terms of the program goals, we have three primary goals. Um, first one is we want to develop new products, services, or you know, um, process that can uh, generate new revenue. You know, um, improve our bottom line results. Uh, the second is to um, you know uh, um, shift the corporate culture. Um, uh, we would like to uh, enable more uh, bottom-up innovation, empowering, um, empowering employees uh, that are you know um, underneath of the organizational pyramid. And the third thing is which I forgot. It's a uh, it's actually um. Uh, Uh, yes. So, so again, with new, with new products. Yes, yes. So, um, new product and services. Uh, we want to um, uh, drive culture shift. Uh, we want to train um, the employees inside the organization. Um, the format. How do we achieve this? Uh, we are going to run um, well, at this moment in time three months uh, corporate innovation program, which uh, starts with the um, you know. Question to hosting the challenge, um, receive the idea submissions, and then um, the internal, you know, innovation committee will choose, um, you know, top 20% idea, for example, and then uh, they will receive uh, what's called um, a, well, we haven't named, but like a physical box which contains all the tools for innovators. It will have, um, you know, this was inspired by. Adobe Kickbox. Um, yes, uh, you um, contain all the frameworks and you know coffee butter, some you know chocolate, which is a um, essential for innovators. Um, and then uh, uh, we will give them a mentorship training to really uh, teach them how to use this this toolbox. And once they uh, go through this stage, um, once they complete this stage, we will filter them again. Uh, next stage is to um, to have a shark, shark tank. After shark tank, uh, we will have like a two months uh, experimental phase. So uh, these teams can um, uh, you know attend the boot camp, learning about uh, tools uh, for innovation, and then uh, we guide them through their pilots and and test phase. So uh, this is very interesting. thinking. Right. Uh, the target customers, yes. Um, the innovators <coughs> inside the organization, but it doesn't have to be innovators. Um, it could be, uh, you know, the people who <coughs> want to be innovators. So it's more like an innovator program rather than innovation program. Um, our job is, uh, yes, our, our, our job is to guide uh, people through this process, providing uh, guidance, mentoring, uh, training, um, and administration. Great. Um, feedback from the class. Feedback, thoughts? Um, so, uh, so, yes. Uh, I couldn't really understand how much time the whole program you supposed to be. It's like yes. three months plus two months of yeah. testing or two months of testing is inside the three months? Okay, good question. So, three months is one cycle. So, it's like a, a one cycle sprint and then sprint, sprint, sprint. So, um, every three months, um, uh, Program will end and they will renew because at the um, at the beginning of um, three months process there will be idea submission and then um, in the one third you will enter into experiment phase that will end um, at great. the end of the three months. Okay, all right, great. So a uh, couple quick questions and uh, I'm not sure if we have time for everyone, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll just go very fast. I don't want to eat too much into Rajesh's time, which is one minute away. Um, Okay, so are your employees not doing their jobs while doing this, or are they doing their jobs? Um, that will be a, the biggest challenge. Um, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, so, so I think that that's the, that, 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 that's the million dollar question, yeah, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, all right, so another team, who wants to share? Yes, sir. Um, our goals are to uh, create a transformational learning event to, um, we're right. doing yes. the, uh, the millennial yeah. Transformational learning event uh, 
then from there, the next goal would be for them to plan to go and launch their company. So we want an output of the training event, uh, their preparedness to launch, and then connection to a community to grow. So transformational learning, preparedness to launch, and community to grow. Those are our three goals. Great. We're going to achieve that through a one-week immersion event, which would include 40 different learning modules based on DE24 plus uh, some operations components. Right. And then uh, they would walk out with a draft business plan and personal development plan, so that's the ability to go launch a business plan and a personal development plan, and connections to the community which would provide support services and ongoing growth. Great. So that's how we would achieve it. Our target customers would be college graduates coming out ready to do a startup. Um, from the statistics, there's a significant number that want to. They've already been used to paying tuition at you know fifty to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Why wouldn't they pay an extra forty five hundred to go through a one week startup camp to actually launch their business? Okay, great. So feedback, questions. Guys, you're supposed to do peer learning. Yes. It, it seems like a lot to achieve in a week to go from the transformational experience to the, the, the startup, but I like the aspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other thoughts? I think it would be really nice would be to um, provide them with like here's the exit of what you get like in terms of like you're gonna need this number of PCs or funders. Part of the plan is a capitalization event that they can go to like a shark tank afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's part of the connection to the community. And, and one of the things that we're thinking of having to live, live events each to begin the online program to put the, to put the momentum going. Mm, okay. Right, so um, I think for you guys, the big challenge is your 40 modules of DE plus operational aspects plus a viable business plan in one week. You know, like I, I think the, you know, if, if we have trouble fitting a taste of anything, yeah. <laughs> which, you know, like Bill and I always feel like we, we didn't really do a good job because there's not enough time to talk about anything. I think that's the main challenge. Anybody else want to share? Share? Yes. Yeah, so yes. Uh, we would like to uh, promote uh, a local program using a uh, bus. Yes. Right. Stepping into a uh, uh, program, uh, we could uh, take three steps out of the entrepreneurship program and bring it to a neighborhood on a given weekend with advance notice and uh, promoting uh, physical entrepreneurship with uh, a maker space environment within the bus and maybe outside of the bus. And in this way, uh, uh, inspiring parents not only that uh, entrepreneurship is uh, possible, um, that also college might be possible. Hmm. So high school. And, uh, but uh, our focus would be uh, younger children at this point, because there are lots of maker programs for high school and college students. But here we're thinking maybe there's also an opportunity to bring the maker um, sort of space yeah. uh, Interesting. So how long is the program? Uh, for a, a weekend. Weekend, weekend. 
All right, feedback? Thoughts? Ning? Why don't you give it to parents who is actually interested in this program to get paid? Uh, yeah. if, if they can pay? Yeah, the, because the inner city program, probably like you're not looking into them paying a lot of money for this. No, uh, we're thinking either uh, a uh, university sponsor or uh, a government sponsor. Mm. Well, so it's it's a social, on, uh, social enterprise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Ali. It's just one bus, right? Perhaps you maybe introduce the other steps that you can access online, but yet uh, you know look for the bus coming next year or next right. month, depending on demand for the next steps. So we have to move on, but uh, quick feedback. I think that um, you guys are uh, kind of like the, you're starting with the bus. Um, who is the customer? And and that is not defined enough in the way you are telling the story. I think that that's um, you know the the, the feedback from the class also reflects that a little bit and also sustainability. So I think that for you guys, who is the customer get that really, really tight and why are they interested? And then the sustainability because it's a social enterprise. All right, do the other two teams want to share or do we want to move on? Um, share. Yeah, we share. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 okay, so Andrew, um, I'm running over. I'm sorry. All right, let's go talk very fast. Okay. Talk very fast. So we're actually a local e-ship program. Yes. Right. The weekly course would meet for three to four hours and we split the team lecture time and team projects and then teams would meet as needed outside of the classroom. Yeah. Our target customer is um, a recent college graduate or current students looking to augment their learning experience uh, because these people are ready to find founders and turn their university know-how into a business. And our job is to teach them new product and production with PMR Okay. Lectures, guest speakers, videos, and mentoring. All right. So uh, uh, not enough time for a lot of discussion, but I highly encourage you guys to just do some cross-pollination because a lot of folks have a lot of really great ideas about each other's ideas. Um, a, you should talk to Matteo more. You, you know Matteo. Uh -huh. Right. So he's running this. You know, that's, that's his program. Right? That's his program. And B, um, the targeting, uh, I, I think that that pretty much goes for everyone. The targeting is, you know, in, in this nascency as of right now because you just started yesterday. But get that really, really tight because it would inform the kind of content that you would have. Okay, last team. Okay, very quickly. So our theme uh, is a social enterprise kind of focus. The setting is in Brisbane. It's a partnership between uh, QUT and MIT. It's a three to four week program with a goal around rich social enterprise experience that brings together global teams to engage with regional challenges. So there's a focus on blending teams, as we said earlier, of what we're calling shifters, people that are transitioning careers, and youngsters looking at mindset and uh, social cultural transformation. We'll um, have, as I said, in the first three to four weeks, first week team formation, understanding boundaries, uh, field trips, uh, working on that dynamic with the blended age group. Week two will be the 24 steps, lecture time, project team time, and then week three, developing uh, that um, idea or company out and demo. Great. Um, okay. That's really short. 
Yes, that's really short. Yes. So I think again, uh, just just with every other team, five teams, you know, just tighten up the who is your customer, right? Because the career shifters that could be, you know, my babysitter used to work in the factory. That's a career shifter, right? <laughs> or I might actually quit everything and become a sous chef. That's a career shifter. So I, I think that you know you're gonna want to get really, really tight on that. Okay. All right. So I have run over by ten minutes, and I apologize because I like to keep trains on time. So. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to Custom uh, Programs. I think with anything, with any project, always start with the racy. Who's doing what? So uh, if you don't define that, by the way, if Andrew and I didn't already know each other from a long time ago and we already figured this out, then we would be all mixed up about, you know, are you deciding which day? You know, like, you know, like Andrew gives me the slots, I put the content in, right? So, so you need to kind of define that for whoever's on the team, who's doing what. And then um, it, 24 steps for 24 steps. Um, just start with who is the customer always. And a lot of times you have constraints. You have to think about situational awareness of what are you doing it, who are you doing it for. And then you need to manage it like a project. And I think that's the other thing is, you know, most people don't really look at educational programs or training programs enough like a project. It's a project. So you need to project manage your project. OK, all right. Um, uh, I guess like we, we, we'll be around all, all day, so we can certainly talk more later, but um, thanks very much.